Hello, welcome to the Game on Grapevine, coming to you today live and pre-recorded from sunny San Francisco, California, and Microsoft's X10 Gaming Showcase. Today we delve deeper inside the mind of Lionhead boss Peter Molyneux to find out more about the fabled Fable 3. So the press release promises an unprecedented action-adventure experience. What can you tell us now about Fable 3? Well, it's all about power, man. It's all about, you know, I, as a game designer, I want you to feel powerful. Here's the big thing in Fable 3. Part of the game is about building up people to believe in you, to take on this tyrannical leader and overthrowing him. And then the other part of the game is what it feels like to be king or queen. What would your kingdom be like, man? Would it be a place of, you know, where no one starved and everyone was happy? you'd find perhaps with power comes great responsibility. So talking about the new mechanics and new technology, what's changed and do you expect a strong reaction? I mean, what's your most controversial change? I was inspired by one single thing. It kept rolling over in my mind. Half the people who play Fable 2 only used half of the features of the game. And I thought, well, that's just wrong, man. So when we came to think about things like health bar, experience, leveling up, we thought, it's just not working properly. People don't really understand it. Let's just throw health bars away, redefine what experience is, put leveling up into the playing of the game, which are fundamental cornerstones of, our, of our, the RPG genre. And that might upset people, but actually when you get your hands on it and feel it, you can feel how accessible that is. You know, it's very important to me that you, when you play Fable 3, you, you're still an Albion. And you know, I tell you what the world we're really inspired by is Albion is actually England. That's the way we think about it. And if you look at how it's changed, it moved, you know, started off and we moved it 500 years for, forward. Fable 3 is 50 years on, but it's a crucial 50 years in Albion's time. It's the start of the Industrial Revolution. When suddenly those green leafy fields have been replaced in a lot of cases by factories and industry and mines and you know, um, pits, and you may look at it, the land and think, God, this is terrible, where's that beautiful place gone? You've still got all the beauty of Albion, of course, but you've now got industry being spread out, and that's really interesting. Coupled with that is we are introducing a whole new continent, and that continent is called Aurora. You can think of that continent just like when, we, when, when America was discovered. Suddenly, the map of the world got a lot bigger. And so there is this whole new continent which will be there, which you, are, you will be going to and visiting. Everything's different. Favorite thing about Fable 3 is unquestionably is this, this thing called touch. The, the, for the first time I've seen in a computer game, reaching out and touching people, hugging people, caressing people, chastising people, whether that be in, you know, non-player characters in the world or whether it be your co-op friend, you know, it's just very unique. 